In this video, we'll look at exporting Revit levels to IFC Building Story. Revit automatically exports each Revit level that has elements hosted to it to IFC as an IFC Building Story entity. In DDS CAD Viewer, if I select the level 00, 0 entity, I can see that the name attribute comes from the name parameter within Revit. The object type is a concatenation of the Revit family and the Revit type name. The long name is the same as the Revit name and the elevation comes from the elevation property. The property sets are reference is the type name and above ground is unknown and these are exported as default. If we wanted to override some of these attribute and property values we can simply go into Revit and add the appropriate parameters. I'll go to my project parameters and because I already have the IFC object type parameter added to the project I can simply modify this parameter and add it to the levels category in the parameter properties. If I select on level 00, zero I have an object type property and this object type is a high level classifier for an object it is, it is usually specified if there is no suitable predefined type available. However, building stories do not have a type, and therefore I'm just going to simply type in the word story, just as a demonstration of how to override the property. I will select all three and just make sure they are the same. The long name attribute can be amended or overridden using the IFC long name parameter. If I search IFC long name in the share parameter file and add it to levels under IFC parameters. I can use the IFC long name in conjunction with the name attribute. So I will just simply call this ground floor and I will call level B1 basement level and level RF roof level. Because an IFC building story is a subclass of IFC root, I also have the description attribute that I can assign to IFC building story. I already have the IFC description within the project parameters, so I can simply modify and select levels. And if required, I can add a further description. This seems a duplication of information often contained in the long name, but I will simply fill it with a description for the level 00, zero level and just call it elevated primary level just to show how it exports. Note how the parameters that override the actual element all begin with IFC and then the relevant attribute. This principle is applied later on when we assign attributes to Revit rooms and other building elements. Finally, the elevation attribute for the IFC building story is the elevation of the level in Revit. There is currently no way to override that value even though in the IFC schema 
it states that the elevation of the IFC building story is typically the construction slab level shown here but often within architecture models the revit levels are typically set out to the finish floor level or the elevation of ref height for the IFC building. Note that in the previous video we saw that we couldn't override the value of elevation of ref height within Revit. I'll now re-export the model and have a look in DDS CAD. If I select on level 00, zero I can see that the description attribute has been added to the end of the level name such as with the IFC building site and project and the attributes have been updated to suit what was inputted into the Revit properties. It is also possible to override the name attribute within the IFC so, for example, if I wanted to keep the Revit name that appears on the drawings as level 00, zero what I could do is go to the project parameters and add a new parameter from the shared parameter file called IFC name and this will override the name attribute of the entity or Revit element that it is assigned to. So I can select B1 and I can override the IFC name with just the simplified code. Level 0 and roof. I simply type in an IFC description and I'll now re-export the model. I can now see that the name attribute has been amended to the IFC name property override within Revit. So here is an image of the Revit properties and the corresponding IFC attribute outputs. It's also possible to add IFC properties to the Revit levels to export to the corresponding property sets within IFC. Here I've added in some project parameters, assigned them to the Revit levels, and given them a specific value. And then when viewed in DDS CAD, I can see the entrance level property has been added and set to true. The above ground has also been set to true and the gross planned area, the meter squared value I put in the parameter. It's also possible to set the quantities values from within Revit, such as these net height and gross height quantities. If I look at the QTO building story base quantities, I have some quantities such as gross height and net height. I can add these as project parameters to Revit levels from the instance shared parameter file and I can type in a specific value. The gross height and the net height and I can then re-export to IFC and if I select the 00 IFC building story I have the QTO building story base quantities quantity set and the net height and gross height quantities specified within. Finally, if I didn't want to export a level to IFC from Revit, for example it's a another reference level or it's not a building story, I'll take this B1 as an example, 
I can untick the building story built-in Revit property. And when I then export to IFC, I can see that the B1 level is now not contained within the IFC structure and all the elements that were associated to B1 are now associated to the 00, zero level. I will undo that and assign B1 back to building story. The story above property is a built-in parameter that allows you to specify the next logical level within the building when using the split walls, columns and ducts setting within the IFC exporter. So if required I can skip level 0 and I could assign the next level from B1 to the roof level. By default it will choose the next level above. So that is how to assign attributes and properties and quantities to IFC building story entities exported from Revit levels.